What is up, everybody? We are starting the day off with a nice, clean car. Spent some time this weekend getting the car all cleaned up. I uh, didn't really do this, do much this weekend. It's Sunday afternoon. It is hot. It's a high of 85 today. It like jumped. This week it was pretty cool. Beginning of the week, I think I went to show up to work Monday and it was, it was like 41 degrees. It sucked working outside. And today it's 85. But the other day messing around doing some pulls I learned the car did something that I thought you couldn't do without a tune um, I'm just gonna go show you guys very very excited about this little thing that you can do before we get to where we're going I just want to go over how much I just love the setup in here everything looks so great I am like seriously in love with this car it's the way everything's set up I do want some type of, hopefully they come out with like a cover for this. I don't like that it's silver, but I'm hoping P3 comes out with a boost gauge. It sits right here. That would be extra dope. Well, I'm riding around trying to get my oil warmed up so I can show you guys what I discovered. Look at that clean is. BMW. I love this car though. All right guys, so here's what I found. Typically when you go to do a pool and stuff, you know, you can just hold down the left, takes you down to lowest gear, and then you just, you know, you punch it. But it does take a second there to get, you know, up to full boost. What? You got, I think those guys are doing rolling shots. Yeah, they are, they're doing rolling shots of that car. Wow, we should turn around and go instigate, honestly. I'm gonna try and do that. Cut. Anyway, I wasn't able to catch back up to him. I had to go down and make a U-turn. As I was saying, so normally, pull it down the whole way. Oh, I brought it down real high. You know, and you just do your pull. Okay. Now, I learned you can brake boost this thing from the freaking factory. So let's slow down a little bit. Bring it down in the third. All right, on the brake. unreal now I don't know if this is just a DSG thing or if it's like the new gen thing I never had DSG before this but in my manual car you sure as shit could not brake boost from the factory the car would just like shut you down you got to hit the brake first and then get on the gas to do it it's a little weird while you're holding a camera and driving with one hand but yeah I was like so surprised to see that it could do that now we're gonna get a nice little launch control off this light just cuz oh god this work line rear end really turns this thing up to 12. oh my gosh that is amazing decided to make a pit stop real quick maybe get some pictures out here show off the car a little bit in the sunset God, I love this car. Those lines. It's just so good. Man. I see a little lip there on the trunk, you know, something nice with it. I want to get those little side things. Go right here. Look, I just flung this all up on the car. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have drove over here. Oh, well. Man. Beautiful. We'll do some more pulls on the way home, I promise. I just need some, some Instagram pictures for the week. Sheesh. This shot right here is really cool. Not gonna lie, living so close to water is pretty dope. Smells great. Love it. It's the traffic out here is just the worst. And the people are just rude. Do another one for you. stock and there's really no point people are going to say that but it 
it's honestly cool that you can do it from the factory and no other car that I have had could and that just makes it that much more fun to me I, every day I'm, I'm finding new little things about this car that I love like I love how good just the button clicks are and like the sliding of the the vents is just like so smooth and the click is so good and like the buttons here like such a good click like everything in here just makes me so happy it's a really good cockpit to be be chilling in it's about what i see from my view it's just great everything's great the sound system's great the tent it's love love everything like the auto tint or the auto tinting auto dimming mirrors all three of these auto dim which is cool, but it sucks because I want the spherical lenses that have like the blind spot thing. They're like $600 for a set just because they auto them. So that kind of sucks, but otherwise, I mean, I just need a boost gauge and I'll be setting here. So we got a little GLI behind us. Maybe they want to do some runs. Alright guys, so we're back home. This went out. A little Sunday fun. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But she just made me those. So I've been using like tape as uh, my numbers and letters for autocross. And she's like, it looks like shit. So she ordered up, excuse me, ordered up some magnets. And she used her little vinyl cutter and cut me out. Uh, so XSA is my autocross class. And 32 is my number. And then we do the YouTube stuff on there. So it's, it's like super super nice of her she's like the most supportive woman ever and i couldn't ask for anyone better honestly she's the best can't wait to go rock those uh so next sunday we or this friday we're going to the track vmp uh quarter mile bunch of mqb guys going there so if you're in the area virginia motorsports park a bunch of us are going to be there friday i think we're leaving down here around 3 34 o'clock i don't know how long it takes to get up there probably an hour hour and a half and we'll be there for I don't know how long. Maybe we can even find a meet afterwards, do some street stuff. I don't know. But I'm trying to make Friday a, a baller. Now she's got friends coming down from Minnesota this week. So I have Friday. Her, fr her girlfriends will be down here. They'll be doing things with the baby and stuff. So I got Friday to myself uh, up there, hanging out with the boys, doing whatever. Uh, hopefully meet some of you guys there. And then Sunday, we have autocross again there at Virginia Motorsports Park. So... I'll be going up there twice this weekend. Really excited uh, to use those numbers and stuff. And yesterday, I ordered a set of RT660 tires. Really, 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 really hoping they show up before Sunday. Uh, I'd like them to be here before Friday so we can uh, obviously go to the drag strip on those, have a little bit more grip. Don't really have issues with grip with these, with a little bit of prep, uh, but I'm trying to get, you know, obviously the best time possible. Test and see how much better of a 60 foot this new rear end does um oh yeah so tires showing up soon uh two events coming up this week still waiting on the intercooler order to drop from do 88 we'll get that in here as as soon as humanly possible and then uh yeah right after that probably order in the front work line subframe and i figured out and I, I need so i have them at negative 2.3 degrees of camber up front i really want it to be around um, 3.1 to 3.2 negative and the 034 top hats they give like 1.4 to 1.5 depending on the version that you get I believe maybe it's 1.5 or 1.6 that's way too much it's gonna put me damn near negative 4 and I don't want that the rears already dead set I don't know, they have a ton of adjustability right now but they're at 2.1 and on my golf R I I had it at negative 3.1 in the front which I thought was perfect I figured out the Club Sport Knuckles give exactly 0 0.8, negative 0 0.8 degrees of camber. So once the subframe and all that uh, tires, intercooler dealt with, we're going to order the Club Sport Knuckles. They save weight and they give us more negative camber. And that'll put us right exactly where we need to be. Shout out to my boy Kyle 
for letting me know about that. Um, so when the time comes, we'll be ordering those. And the suspension will be pretty much set until uh, we decide on what kind of dampeners and springs we want. I don't want to get anything cheap. Um, not that cheap's bad, but I really want to be competitive. So I need something really good. And uh, shit's just super expensive. And it's even more expensive now with the COVID and delays and this and that. So I really like to get on to the set that Kyle has, but that's a lot of money so we'll see in the future where we wind up open to you guys suggestions and i also want to know if you have a mark 7 dsg could you break boost before you get a tune or if you have a mark 8 could you do that or your uh 8v a3 s3 or gti let me know if you guys could break boost from the factory because this might not even be a new thing and i'm gonna feel not really dumb but i'm not gonna feel special <laughs> now that i know but I don't know if any other gins could do it, but I'm happy because my manual couldn't until I was tuned and there's no tunes out for this thing yet and I can break loose and that makes me a happy camper. So I'm going to get in here, edit this up, hit some food, hop in the shower, nice hot Sunday afternoon. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and I'll catch you on the flip flop.